Good afternoon everyone, I hope you've all had a fantastic day and a fantastic week. I've been so impressed with all of your work so far and it's just been amazing. Well done to all of you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend but before we get to that we have got another story time and today I am going to be reading a very exciting one actually, <gasps> The Giant's Loo Roll <gasps> and it says here, Fee Five Faux Fum, what will I use to wipe my... Mm, it has a gap there. What could they use? What rhyming word might they use? Fee fi fo fum. What will I use to wipe my... Hmm. Let me know. Maybe write in the comments. Let me know what you would have used. Hmm. Okay, this is written by Nicholas Allen. And we're going to read the blurb on the back to find out all what this story is about. Follow the giant's loo roll as it hurtles through town, leaving havoc in its wake. What will the townsfolk do with all the enormous sheets of paper? They could build a paper plane or make hundreds of pairs of pants. But will there be any paper left for the giant in his time of need? Oh, this is going to be funny. I can't wait to start reading it. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we are definitely ready to begin. A giant's toilet roll one day fell to the floor and flew away. Oh, fee fi fo fo fee fi fo and fee fi fum. Now what shall I do to wipe my bum? Petty bumpity bumpity bump. It rolls down the hill with a thumpity thump. <gasps> oh dear. Oh, what a waste of paper this is. Certainly paper the giant will miss. This rolling roll going who knows where. This ribbon of sheets, each ten foot square. Rolling, rolling, flying and waving. All this paper so worth saving. Rolling, rolling, waving and flying. Look where it's going, look where it's lying. An artist takes a single sheet and draws the toes of the giant's feet. A clasp makes a dart, you can see just how. They throw it and knock all the teachers. Kapow! Oh dear, those poor teachers. A factory boss finds a sheet or two and makes paper rolls for all these loos. Rolling, rolling, flying and waving, all this paper so worth saving. Rolling, rolling, waving and flying, look where it's going, look where it's lying. A tailor finds one and with thanks, she fills her shop with paper pants. Mums and dads and children find some sheets for a party they have in mind. They make party things like plates and hats all they need except the snacks and if you have a look it says very happy birthday giant and there's a note to the giant down here which says dear giant we are having a birthday for you p.s please come that is very kind of them and now the roll it lies quite still it won't go on, it's run up the hill. And the people who use all that paper for fun, they've followed the roll to where it has come. There's still paper left despite all the loss. And it's worth giving back, says the factory boss. We must thank the giant and return the roll too. He might by now be in need of a poo. They march through the town and right up the hill to the giant's house by the old paper mill. Come on, they say, just a few steps more. And then they arrive at the giant's front door. The giant is pleased, he slaps his knees. Now I can do more than just have a pee. So pleased he is that he gives them all tea. Enough tea, as you see, they all need a wee. Oh dear. Well, they've definitely got enough toilet roll, don't they? 
They take it in turns in the giant's huge bowl and then give the giant his toilet roll. I thank you, he says, then closes the door. And there's just enough paper. Not a single sheet more. They used up all of his toilet paper. That was a silly story. Didn't I think it was? It definitely was. I really enjoyed it, though. I hope you all enjoyed it, too. I'll see you again next week. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Bye.